correct the introduction. I'm the chief game designer of Zynga, and I've made 20 year industry veteran. I'm sorry. Uh, so it's hard to follow Brenda. I'm not as good at uh, getting worked up, I think, as, as she is. Although I do want to kind of ask her why she didn't name her company Duber Drop, because I think that would be uh, far more, far more compelling and successful uh, name in this industry. So. What I want to talk about uh, is a little bit of a, uh, if you would hold up that thing so I don't know how long I have it, I don't go over my time, sort of, thank you. Um, so, I've heard a lot of, you know, since I came into the social industry space, okay, so these aren't really games, um, they're not fun, they're not innovative, uh, they're evil. Uh, and apparently, as of yesterday, we're also preventing, um, preventing game developers from making a living, which was like, that actually kind of hit me into the, that took me into the manifestly false uh, region of criticism, whereas, you know, at least maybe they're not games is, is a little bit subjective, because what a game is a little bit subjective. But I first wanted to say, you know, I wore my Facebook shirt today, uh, because, well, first of all, you know, don't we all kind of love Facebook? Um, isn't that a really fun place and we socialize with people that we actually like there and, and that's kind of the whole point of and apparently everybody else does too like it, would you I mean how many people do you know that aren't on Facebook uh, and it helps me keep in touch with my mom oh thank you very much there's the one person <laughs> fantastic so there's probably about the same number of people don't have a mobile phone uh, as aren't on Facebook. Yeah, that, 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 there we go. <laughs> the, they've got the same people. <laughs> so, so they're not into the, you know, they're not into the social networking world, and that's fine. But I find it, uh, it helps me keep in touch with people. I keep in touch with people I couldn't keep in touch with otherwise, and I am able to um, do that more efficiently. So I got into making social games. I love Facebook. I mean, I, at first I got into Facebook, and then I realized there's games on Facebook. You can make games and play them. And suddenly I was playing these games, and I was getting back in touch with people. And it turned out one of the people I got back in touch with called me up and said, why don't you come make these for this company that I am, you know, at. And, and so I'm here. And... So that's, I mean, that, that's my personal narrative. I, I got into making these because I thought they were the coolest thing going at the time. Uh, that's just a personal narrative. I can't say that for everything else, but you know, I'm doing this because I love it and I, because I think it's interesting and because I have a chance to talk to audiences that are larger than the audiences that I or really anybody have ever been able to talk to before. We, we have tens of millions of players uh, playing these games, and huge audiences, and people that I've never been able to talk to or reach through games. So that's, uh, I, I guess, what the point of doing it is, is that we can reach these large audiences, and we're doing them a service by letting them socialize with each other. Uh, the, the number of stories I hear from people about how uh, social games, uh, you know, there's always the extreme changed my life ones, but just the ones that say, wow, this gives me a way to start conversations with people. Uh, you know, you guys kind of write my jokes for me. Uh, so I have something interesting to post so that then my friends, you know, will talk to me more often and, and stuff like that. That's what we're doing. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, and on the point of these aren't really games. Uh, so again, you know, if you want the dictionary definition, it's an activity we engage in for amusement, and and you know that seems to pretty well fit Farmville, Mafia Wars, Frontierville, Cityville to me. Uh, it's an activity we do it because it's kind of fun, uh, and it even has all these extra things like helping us socialize, which by the way is is fun as well. Uh, these games are full of choices. They're full of interesting choices. Isn't that what a, a good game is, is a, a series of interesting decisions to make. Uh, am I going to, uh, um, you know, I'm going to plant this thing or that thing? When am I going to come back? How am I going to lay out all my stuff so that I express myself to my friends? Am I going to kind of make a whole giant forest or nothing but flowers? Or am I going to try to make it really look like a thing? 
Uh, and which of these characters, now that there's stories in these games, which of these characters am I going to have fall in love with each other? Uh, what, is my, what is my spouse going to look like on the frontier, and do I have to make it look like my real spouse or not? You know, that's a decision. It's also got, it's also got patterns. These games have patterns in them that you can, you can find and, and you can discover, and the discovery of them creates joy and interest. We're, we, we hide things. We didn't tell anybody that if you put a sheep next to the grass, then the grass won't grow back, the weeds won't grow back. Uh, and we let people find these things, and it's kind of exciting and fun. There's a sense of surprise. That's another thing that uh, you know creates a sense of fun in games, is the sense of, um, I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, is the snake going to jump out? All of these things are present, and they're alive and growing in social games. And they're there just as much as they've always been in every other, every other kind of game that's existed to date. Now, this is a very young industry, and we're still kind of figuring this stuff out. Um, but, you know, I'm here to tell you, as, as somebody who's been doing it for 20 years, that these things are games, and what we are now is, is you know, not where we want to be. But we're going there, and we're innovating, and these things are fun and fantastic. Thank you very much.